Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you may be. This week we're going to be looking at all things Chanel. And as I was looking at all things Chanel in my dressing room, I realised that I have more Chanel things than I thought I did. So this week and this week only, we're going to be publishing a video every day. There'll be shorter videos. Um, I usually do quite long videos, at least sort of 30 minutes. I, I try and keep them down to about 20 minutes, but I waffle on, you know what I'm like, ad nauseum, etc, etc. I tend to go off topic a bit, as I'm doing now. And so this week will be exclusively Chanel handbags. And I'm going to spread them over five days because there are just too many for three days. On that note, I shall stop waffling and show you the first one. This one is my oldest Chanel bag. It's a Chanel black tweed shoulder bag. And it was made between 1994 and 1996. It has the 24 karat gold-plated hardware with the bijou chain. And it is a gorgeous bag. It's my oldest and it's also the first Chanel that I ever bought. I have been collecting bags for quite a long time. Now, this one opens with a zip. And inside, you should be able to see that it was made in France. And on the other side, it was a Chanel. And you'll also see the little purse with the kiss lock. You can actually take that off the bag and use it on its own. It is in such amazing condition. This is a grow grain fabric and it's so durable. And the kiss lock is just as perfect today as the day it was made. And there's the press studs that fit onto the inside of the bag. I'll leave that off and as you can see, on the other side of the bag there's a slip pocket here, smaller one in front there. They weren't made to accommodate mobile phones then, of course. It's a gorgeous bag. I have used it a lot. And I find that tweed, Chanel tweed bags are very forgiving. They wear extremely well. I mean, this has very, very little wear, as you can see, considering the age of the bag. And just as a little zip pull there. Just the piece of tweed. Nothing on the bottom. And it's gorgeous. I mean, you could wear it crossbody. You know, it is a fairly long chain. I use it doubled up. Whoops. Doubled up like this on my shoulder. Just like that. And it's perfection. I absolutely adore this bag. I really do. So, that was my first Chanel and the oldest Chanel. Now for the second bag. Okay, so the second bag that I want to show you this evening is the small black travel linear bag. So Chanel's travel line. And this is made of nylon. See if I bring it right up close to the camera, you'll be able to see the the design on the nylon and the black hardware which is in really amazing condition. This bag is 2002-2003 and you know it's a great little bag. Little pocket on the back, classic Mona Lisa smile pocket. 
the tab with the double C lock on the front is leather. Inside the flap is leather. The back of the, the back of the inside is leather there. The rest of it is fabric. There's a pocket at the back. You can see that there. Just a single flap. And it's a great little bag. I have used this so much. And it is still in incredible condition. It's really, really kept its shape. It hasn't gone out of shape at all. And the bottom is still pristine. I do look after things. I mean, you know, it didn't matter when you bought a Chanel bag, whether you bought it 20 years ago, 30 years ago, or whether you bought it yesterday. They've always been expensive. I mean, now they are ridiculously expensive. They have gone, in my mind anyway, so beyond their worth. But this one, I think, cost me 1200 $1,200 which is quite a lot then. But, you know, it's lasted me for 20 years and I hope it's good for another 20. They also do a tote in the travel line and they also do um, a bowler bag or bowling bag, sort of a duffel bag. Anyway, that's my second bag. The small black travel linear flap. The next three I have to show you are from a range called Soft Touch and Soft Touch they really are. The lambskin is, is sublime, you, you've never felt anything like it, trust me. They are just, I was going to say that gorgeous word again, but I won't. I'll say they are just lovely, really lovely and soft to touch. Okay, so this is the Plum Soft Touch Seasonal Flat Bag. I've actually shown you this before in my um, five favorite handbags plus one video, which will be up here or over there somewhere. So if you want more details on this bag, do please watch that video. It's just, it's lovely. And the color is sublime. It really is. And the lambskin, I, I wish you could feel it. It is just, you know, this is when Chanel was making bags out of really, really good quality leather. This was, just let me consult my notes. This was 2011A. This I actually bought, um, well, I say pre-loved from, it was pre-loved, but it was brand new. Still had the tags on and it cost 2,400 US dollars from a Chanel boutique. So, you know, Chanel bags were quite pricey, even then. So that's it in plum. And of course, knowing me, I also went looking for another colour and found it in black. I think they all came with silver hardware and they all have the magnetic opening keep them in shape with these degas um, pillows, purse pillows. I sell those on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box down under. And whoops, there's a desiccant there. Very basic inside. There's no, no double flap. There's a very large zip pocket at the back here, just there. And this is, oh, the, the, even the lining of the top here is just so soft, it, it's gorgeous, it's like silk. Fabric interior, no external pockets, 
It was really, you know, a basic bag. But beautifully made. I mean, there isn't a stitch, a single stitch out of place on this. And this is 13 years old and it's just gorgeous. You can see from the bottom the lovely sheen on the leather. If you ever have the chance to buy one of the soft touch flaps, don't hesitate. If, if you know if it's within your budget, go for it. Because they are just the most gorgeous bags. Oh whoops, I said the G word again. Trust me, these bags deserve it. Okay, so the last bag I want to show you today is, okay. oh, I forgot to tell you about the plum bag. That came with its tags as well. And that was from Neiman Marcus. And that was 2011A, and that also was $2,400. This one, where are we? Okay, this one, I don't know the cost because it didn't come with any tags. Again, I bought it from a consignment store, but it was brand new, it had never been used. I, I get the feeling that a lot of people buy Chanel bags but don't use them. You know, I, I think, you know, when you think about the amount of money that you spend on a bag, you know, a lot of people think, oh, goodness, I hate if I scratched it or, you know, anything, but they're made to be used. You know, they really are. I mean, a few of the bags that I have, I don't use. I bought them just because they're beautiful bags and I just want to keep them as a collector's item. But bags like these should be used. They're just, oh, it brings me such joy you know, to carry such a lovely bag and just to feel the leather. Just glorious. This one is exactly the same, just single flap, black fabric lining. Oops. Difficult to show you. Whoops. I'll get there in a minute. <laughs> Pocket at the back there. Little CCs on the zip pull. Which I think maybe the camera can pick up. Just there. So this one is basically just a smaller version of the other two. And those larger soft touch um, flaps are actually the identical dimensions of the jumbo bag so the you know if you want a jumbo size but you want something lighter because the jumbo especially in a double flap can be heavy try and find a soft touch so worth it really is worth the effort of tracking these down I think they just came in black plum and a sort of a yellow ochre there are the small flaps the larger flaps and they also came in a tote bag I had one of the totes once in a plum, but I didn't get on with it very well. It's quite a tall bag, so it's sort of a north-south rather than an east-west. And because the leather is so soft, it, it, it just, you know, it was just a puddle of luxurious leather, but really difficult to keep the shape of them. But the flaps, just lovely. By the way, if you're watching this video and you enjoy the content that I make, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I would really appreciate it if, if you watch tomorrow's video because I have some very nice bags lined up for tomorrow. You don't want to miss them. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and you won't miss a beat. Thank you for watching. As always, I'll say, a bientôt mes amis, au revoir et bonsoir.
What was that weird noise then? Was it you and creaking floorboards or something? I wrote on the community board or community part of my channel on YouTube, whatever you call it. We'll just start again.